Welcome back to the second session of Ant tutorial. In the first session, we saw how to download and extract the zip folder to a particular folder, and then we had to configure uh, paths in the environment variables. We had to set two environment variables. One was the Ant underscore home, and the second one was Java underscore home. Now, in this tutorial. Uh, we are going to explore the build.xml file so i have created one simple notepad file and in that i have put these details now let me show you where i have created the xml file it's i have created one uh, directory called 16 underscore november underscore 2016 which is today's date and i have put a simple XML, uh, notepad file here so this is the notepad file now here the project name is and uh, hyphen tutorial so the project is the root node and inside the project node will be target nodes there are multiple targets inside one project and inside the target there are uh, echo statements so echo statements uh, currently i have put echo statements but it can be various tasks like uh, it can be a compile task it can be a run task it can be other task also so currently we are just testing with the echo statements so let's look into each of the targets here in the project name the project name is ant hyphen tutorial and the default is the third target now there is a target called third target and i have made it as default so whenever i execute this build file using and command it will execute the third target and when it executes the third target what it will do is here i have put a depends clause what depends means is this third target depends on first target and second target for its completion so uh, what it will do is third target will first call first target and then um, it will also call the second target so uh, if it calls the first target then it will execute executing first target and then it will call the second target but now when it goes to second target here second target again depends on first target but the peculiarity of ant is once it executes one target it will not execute the same target again that's the reason we will be getting first executing first target the second statement will be executing second target and the third statement will be executing third target and then there are closing project tags so this is our build.xml file and the way you save the xml file is file and then save as and save it uh, in inverted quotes here if you look into all files you will get build.xml so this is how you create the build.xml file now we navigate to our c colon uh, november uh, directory we do a cls here and the way to trigger ant is since we already set the ant underscore home we don't need to do any other thing except just trigger the ant build.xml file by specifying ant and once you specify ant it will run the build.xml now let's verify whether the output that i mentioned earlier is coming here it's running now it has picked up the build.xml file it is executing the first target because we mentioned the default target as the third target but uh, in turn it is calling the first and the second target so it calls the first target and then it prints the echo statement then it's calling the second target which in turn call the first target but since the first target already got executed it will execute the second target and then it will execute the third target so this is how the build.xml file works now in this we will make few changes to see how it behaves when we do certain things so uh, now say for example i i have this file with me build.xml and i open it now i 
edit it so it opens up and then we will uh, try to design a circular dependency what circular dependency is whenever uh, uh, b.xml is executed and creates a dependency path that's the reason it does not traverse the same node again when uh, we call third target this third target depends on first target and second target and it executes the first target then the second target is executed which again calls the first target but since the dependency path for first target has already got executed it will not go back to the first target again so now let's design one more uh, thing let's do a uh, circular dependency so we will do first target here we will keep this third target as it is we will put depends equal to second target okay so now what happens have a look Okay, so it says build fail circular dependency first target second target and first target so it's going in a loop that's why it has complained saying that it's a circular dependency this is how you uh, test for a circular dependency you should not be doing a circular dependency in any case but this is how you test it so now let's revert back to whatever it was uh, initially so first target did not depend on anything so we will make it as first target now first target will get executed and second target will also get executed so this is how you do it now we will test uh, we will check few commands in and like uh, we will say and minus hyphen v which stands for verbose and it will give the uh, sorry this uh, I, I have to go to the main build directory and here I type ok so when you type and hyphen v it means verbose and it will give the entire uh, details about what uh, the and command is all about So this is how it works. Okay. And then we will do a control C over here. So it will terminate the job and then we do a and minus D. which is in debug mode which is a debug mode for ant so this starts ant in a debug mode ok so control c again that's all and uh, the third case is when we rename build.xml file what happens so just go back to uh, our november 16th folder and we rename this file to we rename it to build1 for example so it is now build1 and we don't have a build.xml anymore so let's see what okay first we need to go back to our 16th november folder and from there we will trigger 
this command. So here we say and and now it will say build file build.xml does not exist build fail because we don't have the build.xml anymore it's build1.xml so if you want to use a different file instead of build.xml we do this command and hyphen f and then we give the build file name this is the build so okay so it's still a circular dependency we did not change it let's change it and see we did not save it i think okay and we close it now let's try our command again okay here i have not deleted the first build file so that's the reason it was taking the same oh let me do one thing let me change okay here uh, it has the depends clause the new file still has the depends clause so that's the reason, reason it was giving a circular dependency now i have this build one dot xml i try to save it but our result was correct it was not erroneous it was correct so i do i use the build one dot xml again and now it is executing properly so uh, you came to know about how to debug your uh, build dot xml in case some errors happen and this is how you do it so this is the second tutorial in the end series and see you again in the third tutorial thank you